Hey guys, so this is my first ever YouTube video. Um, I'm pretty nervous. I don't really know what to expect. Um, so don't expect a lot because I don't know what to expect either. Um, it's pretty much just going to be a bit of an intro, a bit of a get to know me, like who I am, how old I am, you know. And then I'm going to do a drugstore and affordable makeup full face. Probably like a natural-ish every day glam nothing too too heavy for the first video okay so before i get going with all the makeup and the stuff that you actually want to see just a bit of an intro um my name is beth chapels i am 22 years old i'm from the northwest of england and i currently work in a diy store i work in b and q and apparently i like to use my hands a lot when i'm talking um but yeah I'm just a basic 22 year old girl who works full time um but i love doing my makeup i find it helps me so much deal with everyday life and i know everyone says this and it's so cringe but i suffer really badly with like anxiety mainly and when i feel like i'm having a bad a bad week or a bad moment and i just need a bit of time to like calm myself down or you know distract my mind almost I will just sit down and I'll just play with makeup. I'll just chuck it on and it's a damn good job. I love makeup because it's such a, such a good way to, well, I find it's a good way to kind of settle yourself, so to speak. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go into, I think, yeah. I'm gonna prime my lips first. I was only knowing whether to do this or not, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So I'm just gonna, this is just like Palmer's Coconut Oil Lip Balm. I think I got this from like Sainsbury's for like a quid or something, I don't know. I'm just gonna prime my lips with that. And this is the PS Prep and Perfect Primer Water from Primark. It says it preps skin for makeup application. It's hydrating and refreshing. I'm not 100% sure this actually does anything, but it just makes my skin feel really good. So I always spray it anyway, just because I can. <sighs> okay. And then I've got the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Now, I was watching a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of people were raving about this. And apparently it was like sold out everywhere, but I managed to find it straight away i went into super drug saw it and i was like i'm gonna have you so i did i got it i'm not sure if it's supposed to come with like a spatula or something so you can kind of like dig it out but it didn't come with one so i just put it on with my fingers only mainly on my t-zone and a bit on my chin because i actually have quite big pores like especially on my cheeks and for some reason on the side of my head I don't know why but they just seem particularly big and this primer actually makes them once they disappear but they're a lot less visible and i feel like it just makes my face look a lot smoother than a normal like primer oil or anything else would do and i just bring that on my neck as well I have just faked hand, so excuse the colour of my hands and my neck and my arms, but it's a struggle. Okay, so now the primer is still a bit tacky. I'm going to go in with my foundation. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hours Full Coverage Foundation in the shade 21 Nude Beige. This is a really good foundation. Um, I just pop it on the back of my hand with my damp beauty blender that is covered in fluff and I just take a little bit and I will start on the lower face just patting it in you don't want to you don't want to drag it because it'll just streak and look awful but to pat it into your face like so that noise <laughs> oh 
you know this isn't actually my colour but obviously I put fake tan on um, and I promise it won't look this ridiculous by the time I'm done you don't need a lot of this foundation I don't think like I feel a little bit goes a long way like you only need maybe like a pump or two at a max depends how obviously how thick you put it on your face you don't need a great deal I'm just gonna drag it onto my neck a bit because I don't want to see that tan line but yeah blend it in like I say you don't need a lot like I've probably put too much on my hand I try not to get too much on my natural eyebrows because they're so dark it just looks ridiculous when I put makeup on they look really chalky and I just can't be arsed with it I'm gonna move all my baby hair out of the way because naturally I've got really curly hair I just have to straighten it to look half presentable but yeah naturally it's a frizzy mess you'll probably see it at some point and excuse me sniffling I actually have a bit of a cold and it's killing me off okay I think that is okay so next I'm gonna do my eyebrows I think because I like to conceal slash carve out my brows as at the same time as I do my under eye so we'll go with brows first and this is just like a double-ended brush I think this is the Anastasia one all the writings come off it because it's so old but it's just a spoolie and a little flat like concealer brush on one end but I don't really use the concealer end I just use this for the spoolie because it's really good I'm just going to brush through my natural brows they're so I don't know they're really awkward like there's some sparse areas but yeah there's some areas that there's like far too much hair but I just brush them up because I'm gonna underline them in just a second <clears throat> right so this is the revolution pro eyebrow pencil it's got your twisty up product at one end and a little spoolie on this end but i don't use that because i've actually got a spoolie why is the fluff on everything oh my gosh right and i'm just gonna I know that a lot of YouTubers don't actually show doing their eyebrows because it's such a boring process, but seeing as this is my first video, I'm going to show you how I would do my eyebrows. Normally, I would use a pomade, but as I don't actually have any drugstore pomades, I'm going to just have to use a pencil. Sad times. But yeah, I'll show you how, you'd, how I would do my eyebrows if I was to use a pencil, and I would just carve out not carve underline underline them and draw a bit on the top just to give them that shape only very lightly towards the middle part of your eyebrow near your nose because you don't want them looking mega crazy i understand why youtubers don't do this on camera because it's just such a lengthy process Oh my lord. Something like that. And then I'll brush through them. Okay, so I did this other eyebrow off camera. You know, I, I really don't mind that Revolution Pro eyebrow pencil. I think it cost about four pounds. I think it was like four quid from Superdrug because that is the only main drugstore that I go to it's really good and I just go over my hairs I like to gel them up let them set like bushy because when it dries I can just brush them back down again but yet the ones that I want to stay bushy oh good lord the ones that I want to stay bushy will stay bushy lord have mercy my nose is running next i'm going to carve them out and i will just use my normal concealer i do actually use the p louise um base 
in Rima 1, shade 01, and it's so good. But even though it is affordable, I just thought, you know, I've got a Revolution Concealer. I may as well use this because I'm going to use it to do, obviously, my face. So I just put... This is the shade C1. It's the Super Size Conceal and Define Revolution. It's got a little, a little doe for like that. It's pretty cute. And I just put a dollop, like a little line of product under my eyebrows. That should be enough to do my eyelids as well, ready for eyeshadows. Where is my brush? I got it. I don't even know what this little brush is. It came in a set that my boyfriend got me. I don't know where he got it from, what it is but it's great for carving out my eyebrows. So, maybe I should grab my little mirror for this. Excuse me a second. So, I just, oh my God, I'm shaking. I'm just gonna carve out under my brow. I don't like them to carve when I'm using brow pencil because the brow pencil makes them look more natural and there's no point in having natural looking eyebrows and then carving the absolute crap out of them and them looking unnatural, if you know what I mean. So if I use brow pencil and I want them more natural and fluffy, I will just carve them a little bit. And then I'll drag that and just pat it all over my eyelid as a base for, oh, hello, as a base for my eyeshadow. I'll come back and blend that in a second. I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to pat over my eyelid just to blend that concealer in. Under eye. Under eye. I'm going to go in with that same Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. She, she, shade C1. Um, Same as what I used. I'm going to put a bit under my eyes. A little circle on my forehead, down my nose, and a little bit on my chin. I'm actually just going to bring that down a bit more, down here. Okay. Yeah, so just going in. Again, patting my concealer under my eye. I always struggle getting it right into that inner corner, like I have to squish my eye. I'm just going to pat that in. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I Bring any like excess product that's still in your blender like under my nose because I do get a bit red. Don't know why, but it happened. And I'm just going to continue to blend that in. The blending process, like... Just patting your foundation and your concealer and everything else. It's just such a ball. Like, it's such a nightmare. But you've got to do it. Okay, I'm looking a little bit more alive now. My skin's actually been okay at the minute. I have one little pimple here. But that's nothing to cry about. I'm okay with that. I'm actually quite lucky to have okay skin. What am I doing now? I'm going to go with some cream contour. Let's do some cream contour. So this is the Barry M All Night Long Medium Coverage Foundation Stick in the shade number eight, Hazelnut. And even though this is a foundation stick, it's the only cream contour that I could find. I pull this bit up. I learnt this off your own lipscomb actually, like, because she's, she's insane at doing her makeup. So if you pull your face up and do a straight line from about the top of your ear to the bottom of your, like in line with your eyebrow, don't need a great well I don't need a great amount because I'm absolutely dreadful at blending it but I'm going to do like a little bit on my forehead here oh come on and a bit under my chin and under my jaw I am an absolute nightmare because whenever I cream contour like under my chin and on my jaw I forget to blend it and I'll look up and I'm like oh my god look at the state I've got makeup all over my face Face. I'm just gonna pat it in. I don't want to drag it. I want it to kind of stay where it is. 
it doesn't blend amazingly with the beauty blender i sometimes have to go back in with a brush but it's playing today it's playing I'm gonna have a sore wrist at the end of this because I'm just constantly bashing my face. Excuse me. I'm gonna do my chin and jaw before I forget because I will forget. This stuff dries really quickly. It's a nightmare. I've got to work fast. Oh, okay. Now it's not going to look amazing at this point. It never does. You kind of look a bit crazy. I'm losing everything. Now I set my makeup with the Revolution powder. You can either set your makeup or you can set and bake. I normally set and bake. Obviously, like I said, my job is quite on the go and I sweat my makeup off. So if I bake it, it stays on a bit longer. So I just use this to shake some off. Again, this is the Revolution powder. It smells damn good. And I'm just gonna set everywhere where I put the cream product. Ugh. And I'm probably gonna go in and bake afterwards anyway. Go back over my eyelids because you can never be too sure. I do my bronzer. Sorry, my hair keeps coming out. Bronzer. So this is the MUA bronzed matte bronzing powder. It looks like that. This I'm pretty sure was like a pound fifty, maybe from MUA, obviously, and it looks like that. It's pretty cute. It's not, it looks a lot warmer in real life than it does on the camera. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks kind of yellow on there, but I promise you it's not. Chucking bronzer. In your cheeks, just going over where you. I'm a bit of a bronzer fiend, like I will just chuck it all over my face and then look at myself like, oof. but it's quite a subtle one like you could definitely build it up but I don't particularly want to if I was gonna have you know like really like mega eyes today then I probably would put a ton on but I'm not I'm just gonna go pretty subtle and natural with my eyes today okay i've got a brush hair on my nose right baking 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 i need to there wasn't a lot of powder coming out of it oh okay so i actually learned this this is pretty cool and i didn't know i don't know the science behind it but what i do know is I thought it was awesome. So the term baking actually came from a long time ago when I think it was drag queens and stuff. They used to put an absolute ton of powder under their eyes, anywhere where they had concealer, they used to put a ton on. And the reason they call it baking and not just basic setting is because when you put a ton of powder or product on your skin, it stops your skin being able to breathe. I can't remember where I heard this from, but I was like, oh, okay, pretty cool. So when you put a ton of product on your skin, over your concealer, your skin cannot breathe and your natural body temperature rises and rises and rises. And it kind of like sets, like it, it bakes your makeup to your face. And that's why they call it baking. And I was like, geez. My stepdad started playing his music really loud again. So I'm just gonna take the powder on the flat end of my beauty blender and I'm gonna put that under my eye 
this will also act as a barrier for when I do my eyeshadow because any fallout from the eyeshadow will go onto this and I can just brush it off and it just makes life so much easier. Another reason why I start the channel is because when I'm doing my makeup, I always just sit and I just talk absolute crap to myself. I'm just like, yeah, so now I'm just going to do this and I'm going to do that. And I thought, if I'm talking shit to myself now, why not just film it? So I did. Right, I'm going to cut out underneath where I did the contour and the bronzer just because it gives you that more like sharp, oh Jesus, sharp sculpted cheek like do you see that? Like without even sucking my cheeks in. That's what we want. That's what I want. And I'm going to pat that into the skin. Press it in. I've got makeup all over my leggings. It's a good job they're going in the wash. Oh. Whilst that's baking, I'm going to go back in with the MUA bronzer and just with a little, I don't know, it's quite a firm yet fluffy bluff, bluff, brush, Jesus, it's an eyeshadow blending brush, it's Primark, like it was like a quid and I just thought that'll do, that'll do donkey, that'll do and I'm just going to put that down my nose as a nose contour, go underneath your eyebrow, please. Please go underneath your eyebrow. I cannot stress it enough. I didn't know you had to do it under your nose. Un under your, Jesus. Under your eyebrows. I didn't know you had to do it under your eyebrows. But it just makes it look a lot more natural than just stopping it like here and here and looking ridiculous. I put a bit under my nose. Because I want that snatched nose look. You know what? I'm just going to put it out of it because... Okay. Okay. While that's baking, I'm going to go in and do my eyeshadow. So I don't actually own any drugstore eyeshadow palettes. I The only one that I have is the Morphe palette. This one, it's the 9A Always Golden. And it looks like this. Now, it's not drugstore. It is affordable though, I believe. I think I think it's like maybe like nine pound or something. It's got lovely neutral colors in it. These are probably my go-to colors every day. I do own other palettes that have similar colors, but this one I just grab quite often. <laughs> I mean, look how sorry that shade looks. Can we just moo, moo? Right. I've just knocked all my brushes everywhere. One sec. Right. I'm going to start off with the transition colour. I'm going to use this shade right here, which is Splendid. You can see it there. The shade Splendid. I'm just going to go in with this. This is another Primark brush. It's an eye increase contour brush. No, it's not. It's a transition colour brush. Um, I'm going to swirl that around in it. Tap off the excess. And I'm going to go in just in the transition area, which if you don't know what that is, I didn't know what it was. It is this area just up here where your colours will like, you know, you're doing your eyeshadow. It's the area where the colours will start to go into one another, like they'll kind of fade out. That's your transition area, so I believe. It just sounds fancy, doesn't it? And I'm just going to go backward and forward and just gently, ever so gently, just buff that like windscreen wiper motions and slightly up a bit. Like that. I feel like I, doing your eyeshadow is the lengthiest process ever and you can spend so long doing it and sometimes it just goes to absolute rubbish and there's nothing worse. I'm hoping that today this isn't one of those where I spent ages doing it and it looks like crap. But we'll see. It's my first YouTube video. It's not going to be perfect. 
I do this because I love doing it. Not because I'm any good at it. <laughs> but, yeah. Before anyone says, like, she doesn't know what she's talking about. You're right. I don't. I have never worked with makeup before in my life. Like, professionally, I have taught myself everything I know. And I've watched YouTubes for years. That is how I know what I'm doing. I don't... I'm not an expert. I don't want to be an expert. Mm. Not yet an expert. But I'm not some self self-proclaimed like makeup guru. I just do what I do because I enjoy doing it. You can think I'm rubbish. You can think I'm awesome. I enjoy doing what I do. And I continue to do it. Next, I'm going to take the Morphe, oh god, the writing to come off, M453 brush, looks like this. And I'm just going to go in with a slightly darker shade, which is going to be Witness, which is this one right here. And I'm going to just put a bit on the tip of the brush, just like that, tap off the excess. And I'm going to run that into the crease again, trying to keep it more actually into the crease and with transition, which is crease and a little bit more. This is just going to go, I'll try and come a bit closer so you can actually see what I'm doing. It's just going to darken that area right there. To keep going in until you have it as dark as you want it, really. I don't, I don't really know what I want to do with my eyes, to be honest. I'm just doing it. This happens a lot and I always go back to nudes. I always go back to like warm colours and I'm such a... Oh, I'm such a nightmare for it. Okay. Then I'm going to go with an even darker shade. Now, I'm going to go in, I think, with Bruise, which is this one. Bruise. And maybe a little bit of Taken. I mean, this one's a little bit of like a shimmery shadow, so I don't want an awful lot of it. But this Bruise is a matte, so we'll just mix them both together. Tap it off. That is my favourite. I feel like such a professional when I do that. And with this Morphe M139, I always forget to like position my brush properly. Like, I'm just gonna in circular motions and then drag it into my crease. I need to look in the mirror for this. I'm sorry. Circular motions and drag the excess product like back into the crease, just to like darken out the outer corner. Now, I know some people would say that this is quite a an extreme eye, but this is like my everyday go-to look sort of thing. Like, I guess that's just who I am. I think it's because I've got like olive skin naturally. Um, so they say, I mean, I look quite fair, but I've got dark hair, dark eyes, darkish, darkish skin. Um, everyone thinks I'm like, Italian or Greek or something, but I'm not. I'm born bred Lancashire. Okay, I didn't even say what I was doing. I went back in with the Morphe M453 back with the shade myself just to kind of like blend out the harsh lines where I put the dark shade just up here, just kind of blend out the darker shade. Okay, what am I feeling now? I feel like I want to put a bit of a more orangey colour in. So I'm going to go in with that Aware, which is this one. And there's also a bit of baking powder in it. <sighs> what a treat. That one there. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit on this Morphe M200. It's quite a, it's a really fluffy, soft brush. You know, I talk about brushes like I know what I'm doing. Like, I just know what I like and the feel on where I want to put it. Don't know if it's actually for this, but I like to use it for this because it just feels good and it's so easy. And I'm just gonna put a bit of that in the inner bit of my eye, in a bit of the crease because I want this to be too dark. I don't want this to be, to be too colourful. I just want a little bit of something like in between. Lol, me pretending I know what I'm talking about, huh? And same on this eye. We don't need a lot. 
I don't want a lot. It's not the kind of look I'm going for. What is that? What is that? Oh, what a mess. <laughs> right. It'll be fine. I'm going to put some eyelashes on. Be fine. Be fine. Okay. This bit here and here. I'm just going to sharpen that. I think. Not a cut crease. We're not doing a cut crease today. But I want to just make a little bit of a paler base because I'm going to put a bit of shimmer on. So I'm taking the same concealer before, putting a tiny bit on the end of my, the same brush I used to carve out my eyebrows, which is unknown. It's an unknown brush, I'm afraid. Technically, that was a cut crease, <laughs> but it's not, it's not a cut crease. It's turned into a cut crease, hasn't it? Oh well. I'm just gonna go with that M139 um, brush again, the same one that we used to put the darker colors on. I'm not gonna put any more product on it. I'm just gonna pat where I ended the concealer. like that taking the m200 brush again i'm just gonna go back where i put that shade aware which was that one. Oh, okay thanks that one and just put it back in the center of the crease like so okay then this is the good bit, my favourite bit. I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which, if I just can get that off, is the shade Surprise. It's, I mean, I'll just swatch it. It looks like that. It's quite a, it's like a gold. I'm wipe it on my bed. I like to wet my brushes before I do it. This is the M166 brush. I like to wet them just with that same prep in spray as I used before. Wet my brush slightly, <laughs> slightly, a lot. And just go in with it. Cause I don't like applying it with my finger because my fingers are really fat and they just get in the way. But I'm just gonna pat that. Where I put the concealer. Just to give it a bit of, I don't know, a bit of summer. Okay. Back in with the colour that we used before, the second colour we used in the crease after the transition, which was Witness, which is this one, with the 453 brush. And I'm just going to, Again, pat where the end of that shimmer shade is, just to let it, I wouldn't say blend, but just so it doesn't go from glitter, darker. You want it to just kind of look a little bit smoked out. Okay. Whilst... There's not actually a lot of fallout, like. Okay, Morphe. That's why I like it. Um, I'm gonna do some mascara, eyeliner, and then I'm gonna put my eyelashes on. I will put the glue on my eyelashes first because I like to leave them like a couple of minutes to let the glue get really tacky before I put them on because they're a nightmare otherwise. And, excuse me, um, that. Yeah, while I'm waiting for my eyelashes to dry, put on mascara, which is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is the best mascara. These are just some 
eyelash curlers. I think I got from Primark. And um, where is it gone? Oh, it's here. The NYX Matte Liquid Liner in the shade Black. Yeah, Black. This is the best. It's just so, it's just so dark. I go through a lot of eyeliners. I used to be such an eyeliner girl. I used to I literally don't have any high-end eyeliners. I like the Rimmel Glam Eyes and I like this one. I don't really like felt liners because I just can't I can't do anything with them. I'm gonna use my little mirror. Sorry, but I can't I can't I can't do eyeliner in camera. I'm gonna do a line up there. Mm, you're such a goth. Just like that, little line. There's like a meeting going on outside of here. Oh, yeah. I can't speak when I'm doing my eyeliner. It's intense. And my mum's just arrived home. Yep. Might have to go and tell her to do not interrupt. I can guarantee she's going to come bouncing in this room and not a care in the world. I mean, I love my mum, but God, have you never heard of knocking? Okay, I need to, I need to get my under eye. I knew, I literally said a second ago that my mum would bounce in the room and here she is. Here she is. Let me go and grab my pencil eyeliner because I knew I forgot something. I got the, my pencil eyeliner. This is the Bad Gal Bang by Benefit. It's the 24 hour eye pencil, obviously in black. Um, it's got like a little twisty up bit and you've even got like a little smudger at the end. I couldn't even think what they're called. Smudger at the end of them. And when putting eyelashes on, I always prefer to line my upper eyelid. Eyelid? Waterline. Upper waterline. And maybe just like the corner of my lower waterline. This is the tricky bit. I'm just going to run that all along the top and a bit down here because I'm going to obviously put eye, eye makeup under my eyes as well so you won't be able to tell that I've just stopped it halfway I'll put that in the top I feel like because obviously I've got dark hair if I didn't put eyeliner on when I did put my eyelashes on you'll be able to tell massively and it just looks but you don't have to. I do. But yeah, I'm sorry. This isn't drugstore. Like, I completely forgot. I don't actually have any other black eyeliner pencils because I don't like them. I just, I feel like the, the wood ones, they get, they hurt my eyes. They splinter my eyes. So I only have that one. And I'm sorry that's not drugstore or affordable. Forgive me. I will do my under eye eyeshadow once i put my eyelashes on just because i feel like i can see clearly <laughs> i can see clearly now no i feel like i just know what i'm trying to achieve once i put my eyelashes on like it just completes a look and then i'm like right this needs to go here and that needs to go there and i'm it's good you know it's good we're done all right so i've just put that mascara on this obviously is drugstore you can get it in boots you can get it in super drug you can get it in tesco's you can get it in morrison's i'm pretty sure you can get it anywhere um it's boss it's great just to make my eyelashes black before i put on my sticky ones whilst i'm waiting for my eyelashes to dry a bit more i'm just gonna buff off the bake with the same brush i used to set my face before just gonna 
like so to pat and then blend off anything else like so and now i'm looking really pale and i kind of want to go in with some more bronzer i'm not gonna do it maybe maybe i will maybe i won't these are the eyelashes i mean the glue's probably not dry i don't know if you can see i've had them this is probably like the, maybe the last wear i'm gonna get out of them the only primark ones i think they cost me pound 52 pound but i love them i just love them so much and i should really go and get some more these are on their last legs but i'm gonna wear them anyway i'm gonna wear them anyway this isn't a camera job this is a fine art one sec oh my god they're stuck to my freaking tweezers i'll try again just for anyone wondering i use a duo lash glue um i don't use the glue that comes with the eyelashes because it makes my eyes itch i don't know why it just really makes my eyes itch and i don't think you can beat duo eyelash glue it's cheap lasts you forever probably goes off before you get a chance to use it all and it keeps your eyelashes on which is what we want gonna put the other one on i promise next time i do a video i will not be sniffling the whole way through it i will blow my nose beforehand okay i'm going with the other eyelash let's see if i can do this one on camera oh 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 no game over uh -uh. There we go. There we go. So these eyelashes, like I said, are from Primark. I always get compliments on my eyelashes. I mean, at work, I work with a lot of, a lot of like, not older women, but people that are older than me. That I'd say, you know, like in the forties or something. Um, and I get a lot of compliments like, oh my God, I love your eyelashes. Are these your real eyelashes? And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, they're just stick on. And they're like, oh my goodness. They're like, oh, I'd look ridiculous. And I'm like, no, let me do them um but yeah so i'm gonna go and just do my under eye now now my eyelashes are on i'm gonna do my eyeshadow under my eyes and i'm gonna put some mascara on and then i can finish off my face and we're good okay so firstly i'm just gonna take this pencil smudge brush again it's from primark and i'm gonna go in with this witness right here everyone does their makeup so differently and i'm just like doing what the hell i want when the hell i want and i just put that from the outer corner into the center i will blend it out in just a second but i'm just placing it there for now i really need a cup of tea i'm hungry if you hear my stomach rumble i'm so sorry i've not eaten it is tea time here, so it's like five o'clock, six o'clock. Taking a separate, a separate, it's another M139. You're going to find out I've got loads of the same brushes. I just, one for every colour. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to take the shade myself again, which is a lighter. And I'm going to dip it in with a bit of the Splendid. Like that. And then I'm just going to. Blend them both. Smoke them out under my eye. I don't really particularly want a really dramatic under eye. But I just want a bit of something there. Jacqueline Hill told me this. Like, I swear by that girl. I love her so much. She's just so funny. I feel like I can relate to her a lot. And she says she cannot leave the house without doing something under her eye. And I'm a little bit the same. Like, it doesn't have to be dramatic. Because I can't really like pull off dramatic at work every day but as long as i've got something under there it just makes me look okay so eyes done next we have this little bad boy this is the ps summer storm face palette it's from primark and it was seven pounds is that the right way around seven pounds and it looks like this it's got Three highlighters, three blushes, 
the, the pigment on them is beautiful. One like that, one like that, and let's go with this one, that one like that. Beautiful. Highlighter wise, we've got this, oh, this one here, which looks like that. This one here looks like that. And this pinker one, which looks like that. Mm, they're really good. For seven quid, I saw it and I was like, mm hmm. So I bought it. Gonna go in with the blush first. And I really, 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 really. Mm, which one? I think I'm gonna go for this middle one, this like peachy one. Because I don't know what I'm going to be wearing later on. I'm not actually going anywhere special. But I just like doing my makeup for the fun of it. So, if you smile. Oh, I don't put it up here. I've learned not to put it up there. I highlight up here. And I just put it just like here. The bottom of my cheeks. And then blend it into my bronzer. Almost. And the pigment is so pretty. Look at me stop talking like I know what I'm talking about. Um, highlight. I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use this middle one and this one. And I've also got this Makeup Revolution. Look how pretty that one is. Makeup Revolution Loose Highlighter in the shade Rose Quartz. And if I can show you without tipping this everywhere, it looks like that. And honestly, it's the shit. Um, oh, can I say, can I even swear on you? I don't know. Okay. You don't even need to wet your brush. You don't need to wet your brush at all. I'm not going to because I don't want it to be too blinding. And I'm just going to put it on the top of my cheek, on the apple. And then a bit just like that. Above where I've contoured. I just like it when you have when you like your cheekbones are like glowing. A little bit on the tip of my nose, a little bit on the bridge here. Cupid's bow. And I'm also gonna highlight the inner corner of my eye. I always do these last. Sometimes I forget and I'm like, mm, something missing. It's my inner highlight in the inner corner of my eye. And I'm just going to pat it in. You can see, like, this isn't even wetting my brush. Like, this is just, you know, going in and going ham. There. Okay. If you want to be extra dramatic, you're going with the loose. Now, I'm only doing this to show you how good this is because I rave about it. Um, look at this. This highlighter, I think it was eight pounds. I saw it and it was a packaging I saw first and it was like, oh, it's glittery, I want it. And I eventually got it home and I opened it and I swatched it and I was like, okay. Put a little bit of highlighter just above my brow, above my brow bones, just to make them pop. I go over everywhere I went before, just because you can't go wrong with that. Okay, so yeah, this is the Revolution Pro Supreme Hold Finishing Spray. Looks like this. Okay, and just. And I look down, just because I've got bottom mascara on, I don't want it to go everywhere. It probably will go everywhere. I overline like a mofo, so. I mean, I've got naturally quite big lips, but I just like more rounded. The top one's more rounded, you know?
going back in with the lip liner just blending them back in with each other i've got another hair on my face these are like five pounds fifty something like that and they're so cheap and they smell like hot chocolate it smells so good and oh my god did you hear that lol i am uh, disgusting okay this is the finishing look i'm gonna go over some more setting spray just because you can never know <laughs> This could set my life into place. Okay, this is the finishing look. Not bad hair. What is that in my hair? Okay. Not bad for a first video. I really enjoyed filming this first video for you guys. And hopefully, I'll be doing some more. Like, I know I'll be doing some more, but hopefully people will enjoy it. Yeah. Anything at all, leave it in the comments. Subscribe don't subscribe if you don't like it but if you like it subscribe um support your gal i'm just doing what i'm doing because i love it i love it i think i'm hilarious as well <laughs> but um yeah i really enjoyed filming it and hopefully see you guys soon bye